What's up people? My name is Dinesh and today we are watching a new show. It's called The Hoops. It was recommended to me by the Reacting Boys. So Reacting Boys, I'll put your comment over here. Thank you for recommending me. I always wanted to watch it. But I was thinking maybe I should watch it alone, not on camera. Thank you for making that choice easy for me that I should actually watch it on camera and record it. Because I, as you said that you loved it and already binged it couple of times so I'm pretty interested to watch it also guys if you're not subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button we are at 395 subscriber right now today is 30th of August and I really want to hit our 400 subscriber before September so if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button and without any further ado we're gonna jump into this new show hoops in the description it says has no dignity or shame but he is determined to transform his talentless team from chumps into champs. Now, if you don't know, uh, guys, I played basketball for like three years. Not professionally, just like in school. You know, like every other people. And it was kind of a nice spot until I, you know, moved to a different school in which there was they used to play football rather than basketball. So I played football over there. So yeah, without any further ado, we're gonna jump into the hoops. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Kentucky! I have a friend in Kentucky. God damn. That's a charge! Ah, oh, you inbred pile of donkey shit! What did you say? You <laughs> fuck! Can you know it in your heart? You know it was a bot. Come on. You guys are a foot fucking taller than us, Jeremy. You gotta call it even on both sides, you prick. Ben, I don't know. Party mouth? Again. The game is basically over. Well, fuck you. It's not my fault that the hamster that you tied to a string and shoved up your ass chewed off the string, and now you're standing there with a piece of string, but the hamster's eating away at the inside of your asshole. Knock it off, hot It just started, and... Fuck you, Greg. You're the oh one my who God. probably shoved the hamster up there in the first place. My fucking life. We're getting pounded inside the way your mama pounds your fucking sister. My God. You had your fun this show just it. started. You're out of here. Good. I want to be out of here. This is not basketball. This is born in a fucking Bailey's. No more. No more. The show just began. Just began. My God. The amount of profanity that just like thrown right now. <laughs> my problem is I care too much. No, your problem is you curse too much. I love basketball. And I love this team right here. I love you guys. I love coaching. Coach, you said if we won the game, you'd give us your bang bus password. Well, we lost. Well, we won it anyway. No! Which I want to see some banging on some buses. What the fuck? Fine. Username boobies, password love to lick them, both case sensitive, all caps. And make sure you spell boobies with 10 O's. Boobies. What about Scott? Yeah, what about me? What, the bang bus doesn't pick up gay guys? No. Well, look, I don't have any membership to any of the gay sites. <laughs> That's not fair. Right, guys? <laughs> Bullshit. 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 Wait, he does have any? Right, shut up. Jesus. I wish you could. Here's my credit card. Go buy yourself something handsome. Have to make some changes around here. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> the is walking. school board is coming down hard on your ass. Language, Opal. This is a school for fuck's sake. Really? Really? <laughs> as well as I do. You can't be an asshole and a losing coach. In Kentucky, baby, winning cures all. <laughs> Look, you've only lasted yeah, I love this long because your this. father is Barry Hopkins. Oh, enough. They don't see any hope. It's over. Opal, mm -hmm. there's only one way this school has a chance at winning. What's and that? you know he won't play. That's not an OP. That's a BP. What? That's not an Opal problem. It's a Ben problem. Uh, then just uh. fucking say that. <laughs> not this OP, BP bullshit. I did. That's what I said. That's not what you said. You said, this isn't an OP, OP. this is a BP. Yeah. That means nothing to <laughs> me. Listen, I'm hipping you to the fact. I'm telling you, you ought to know me by now. When I tell you something, I mean what I'm saying. That's it. Well, well, being able to <laughs> fart on command, that's a gift. What Jeff Dunham does with those puppets, that's a gift. Yeah, that's true. I love Jeff Dunham. You wouldn't I kill you. about me. <laughs> Maddie, look at me. I'm begging you. I am in the position of submission. That Your does not look like in my face. Yeah. This is how low I am. The next thing you know, I'm coaching the Chicago Bulls, and I got an infinity pool. 
I mean, if That's I had a, an infinity pool, a lot of dreams. Whoa. Everybody would be sucking so many of my dicks. You gotta tighten it up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so just many a of my year old dicks. Kid. You can't be talking to me about <laughs> dicks getting sucked. Please, Maddie, <laughs> if you join the team, you'll get to be part of something that is bigger than yourself. Lame sauce. I've got something in my back pocket I'm gonna offer to you. It's pussy, Maddie. You have a vagina in your back pocket? No, I don't have a vagina in my back pocket. What I'm saying to you is I'm gonna get you laid, Maddie. Are you serious? You're a 16-year-old kid. <laughs> Don't tell me sex isn't the only thing you think about, because I know you'd be lying. Look, That's if you true. penetrate a woman before Saturday, will you play in the game? I mean, I, I, well... Say no more, you little pervert! I will get it done! You can't be texting my girlfriend. You up every night. <laughs> I knew she was up. Listen, Shannon's my wife. I can text her whenever I want. No, she... Shannon's your ex why? what not yet she isn't i haven't signed the divorce papers been very cool about you dating my wife so i'd appreciate it if you were cool That'd about me rough. texting That'd her when i'm so up rough. lonely on sleeping pills about it whatever keep fucking my wife around oh, oh my good. god you're listening ladies would any of you date maddie Ugh. you couldn't pay me to go out with billy bob thyroid what Roxanne, you're saying you literally wouldn't date Maddie, even if I paid you. Whoa, 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 look, he's just playing around. <laughs> hey, go, that, get off pay you for you date Maddie. I didn't bring a pay, she did. Skipping the part about all my dicks being sucked, but you seem to have a handle on it, Connie. How many dicks? Hey, it's $500 for penetration. You're telling me that fucking is twice as much as a blowjob? Fucking? <laughs> Most of the time with fucking, you just gotta lay there. It's a blowjob, you do all your heavy lifting. If I'm you, I combine the two things. He brings already Twice as nice points, though. Connie, I say this as one of your oldest friends. That doesn't make any sense. And That's, also, I don't, know, I, point, I don't know why I'm agreeing with this. Twice as good as a blowjob. Yes. Me yes. personally, I don't like fucking. It's exhausting. <laughs> a blowjob, sure, but fucking, no way. I got eighty-five dollars to my name. To my name, Connie. Eighty-five bucks gets you a knee job. That's over Plus, the pants. I just kind of rub my knee around on it. I promised this kid insertion. Insertion for 85 bucks? <laughs> I wouldn't let him insert a tampon for... Oh, you're having sex with a teenager tonight. But yeah, she's also having sex with a teenager, which is illegal. So $500 is, I don't know, it'd be okay. If he gets fired, they're going to get a real coach. And there's no way a real coach will let me play on the team. Look at me. I've got titties, for Christ's sake. And I've got rabies. I'll bet a real coach would test for that, and then I'm fucking fucked. Got us all together. You guys are like family, except we don't date each other. Hell, I'll do anything to keep this group together. Wait, what does he mean? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we are family, except we don't date each other? Because we're deaf from South? A desperate man. I need four hundred and fifteen dollars today, or I lose my job and like, everything I've ever worked for. That much more, four hundred fifteen dollars, not a more than that. Coach is all I've ever dreamed of. Thanks, Scott. There's a lot here. This really helps. Next, who else has got money for Coach? Here, Coach. This is my monthly stipend for Weight Watchers. You have a stipend for Weight Watchers? Tell you what I told the only woman I ever loved. You are beautiful just how you are, and you don't need bigger titties. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> Here you go, Coach. I stole this from my little brother. You can pawn it. Probably get a hundred bucks. Thank you, Time Bomb. This is great. When your little brother time learns bomb. to talk, tell him thanks. This is all my bar mitzvah money, Coach. I want you to have it. Thanks, Isaac. Although, you know what? I deserve this money for sitting through that fucking thing. Shit music, horrible food, silly hats. We in Bitcoin. Thankfully, if you include the firearm, I already have the $415 here, so we don't need your space money. Great. I'll just hold on to it until the global economy inevitably collapses. So you got the money. Everything's going to work out, wow. right? Wow. <laughs> this is not where I wanted to be at this stage in my life. Offering illegal sex to an <laughs> underage kid to help my career. Walk in a room and have people know who I am. And suck your dicks. It's in this kid or not as you can see i've kept my <laughs> who is that connie she's a woman of the night she's not a 10 but a solid six five maybe four at the worst but what are you i was supposed to be tall but my mom's short my dad's got a python <laughs> but unfortunately i got my mom's dick do you know you're talking out loud yeah what Mary, it's called recruiting coach seriously you gotta stop no i'll never stop maddie because we need you on this team kid and I'm here for you. 
And that's what being a coach is all about. Just so, stop. You want to park this right chick or what? How about an H? Oh, shit. Connie, don't tell him nothing. I didn't. All I told him was he gave me 500 bucks to have sex with a kid. That's everything. You'll regret this, buddy. My dad owns a restaurant. I've been since that time. Nobody tried to butt fuck me in prison a couple hours ago. I'm gonna lose my job, Shannon. I had those kids by another kid, a prostitute. Jesus Christ, Shannon, are you even yeah, listening I didn't to thought me? Of that. I didn't have <laughs> kids by a prostitute. I bought the prostitute for a kid with money from other kids. You're a pervert. If you could sing or act, they'd make documentaries about you. Where the heck have you been? Did Connie throw you a free one? That's why she's the best. Heart of gold, that woman. No, but what you did yesterday was the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Failing to get you a hooker was the nicest <laughs> thing anyone ever did for you? Kid, you need better friends. It just showed that you really wanted me here. You know, no one in my entire life has ever wanted me anywhere. You know, my dad left when I was- Boring! You're here, that's what matters. Maddie, you're part of the team now, and we take care of each other here. I'm always going to be there for you. You just said boring to his story. Now, are we just going to stand there and jerk each other off? Or are we going to get out there and play some cold basketball? Yeah, man. Time out! Did you see that? We won the tip! We won the fucking tip! We haven't won a tip in eight years! Wrong! Wrong! Did even wrong! Score that. Right! Cool. No one can take this moment away from me. The fucking tip, motherfuckers, with a seven-foot fucking giant. They're out of here! Whatever you want. I don't care, Greg. Usually that'd make me go nuts. But you're looking at a whole new Coach Hopkins. I got my player. I got my job. I'm about to get my beautiful wife back. <laughs> and my dad, he can go fuck his restaurant with all my dicks. Coach, I, I got to say, this feels like a family here, you know? And Don't say boring right now. After my dad left, my Don't mom say had boring. to some crazy... Boring! Guy. Sorry, the story was just really boring. Nah, I, I get it. It was, it was pretty boring. You're right. Maddie, come here, you tall, lanky weirdo. I got to say, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. And that right there is a quote from Little Man Tate. I think. It didn't download properly. I never got to see the whole movie. My home is in Kentucky. And that is what okay, that was first episode. A lot of things happened. A lot of things happened in just first 10 seconds or like the first intro of the episode. Uh, a lot of words thrown around, a lot of hamster thrown around in asses and hamster putting in asses with them strings something i don't know what was that and also uh some illegal shit also happened uh, he tried to hire a prostitute from his kids money for another kid i mean he seemed like a good coach like if i had a coach when i was 16 like that who do shit like this to me i mean i would be so happy and i would do anything but the coach said to me i would do i would totally go back to the uh the basketball team probably play for like how many years he want me to play he just got me late i'm not a virgin anymore you know <laughs> i wish i had a coach like that i mean he he's not doing the right thing but his mind is is in the right place like you can say that like he wants better for himself and for the kids so he's actually gave his credit card to for the kids to buy some online boobies membership uh, what's it called? Boobies bus? Something with buses. And also for the gay kid. He had him with his car. And for the Maddie, he, he got him a prostitute. He paid $500. Alright, one more thing I wanna say. Like, he had 85 bucks. And he's willing to give that 85 bucks away for this kid. And also he's asking only for $415 for, from other people. Like, he's not going asking for $500 straight away. No, no. He's asking for $415 because he have $85. Like he's very honest. He's willing to give away everything he has for just a nice, nice job. So that probably he can have a surgery and have multiple decks getting sucked out by multiple women in a, in a pool. 
I really enjoyed it. I, I mean, it's just a nice episode. Not for kids, but I really loved it. I can't wait to watch more of it. It's just so much things happened in this first episode. He even went to jail, came back. Principal didn't give a shit about it. Or principal didn't knew about that he went to jail. That was this episode of Hoops. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, give this video a big, big thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. We are almost about to hit 400 subscriber. You can be the one who will help me to reach 400 subscriber before September. So if you already subscribed, thank you very much. If you are subscribing right now, thank you a lot. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with more, more videos. Take care guys. Can't wait to watch or complete the whole season of Hoops and you know, gonna repeat it over and over again. I, I see what you said over there. Uh, now I know what you mean when you commented that you are watching it over and over again. It is a kind of show that you probably gonna watch over and over again. And you know one day I'll probably get high enough and watch it over again. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Bye bye.